Good evening. Uh, call to order the meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board for Monday, May 2nd. It's held in the second floor conference room in Town Hall Annex and recorded by ACMI. First on our agenda this evening is a uh, public hearing to reopen special permit docket number 3476 and 248 Mass Ave. So uh, that public hearing is now open and I'd ask the proponents to step forward and introduce themselves. I'm Mark Noonan, I'm a Realty, and this is Joseph Arden, architect. Great, thanks for coming back. Thank you. <laughs> if you could walk us through the changes here. Is that Arden? A-R-T-O-N? A-R-T-O-N, yes. And the person with? Joseph. Um, so, essentially we're request, requesting to modify the special permit to the, really the practical needs of the project. Um, the primary changes are, or differences, would be the, uh, the siding and the windows. And then we've also asked to add a roof deck and to take a door off of the right side exterior. So while the core project is the same, it's a modification to the exterior of the building. We do have some discussion pages, and Joe's going to be able to talk to many, many details. Um, do you go through the background at this point, or, or why we're here, or just go? We'll go right into it. But before we get any further, um, I should tell you that because we are only three members tonight, you only need a unanimous vote from the three of us to, to pass. So I'll give you the opportunity to come back next week if you want. Just have to do that as a matter of procedure. If you want to continue, that's fine too. <coughs> well, I think we do want to try to continue for okay. a lot of reasons. We've had a number of uh, uh, sure. delays, which are not, not the fault of anybody, um, but uh, it makes sense for us to keep going here and try to get a unanimous uh -huh. decision. Right? Uh -huh. I think we're all fairly familiar with the history of the project. If you could just give us a thumbnail sketch and then get into some of the changes and the reasons why. Yeah, so we, we brought the project a year ago, a little over a year ago, and um, you know, the project at that time had the full support of planning. Uh, it met the requirements, including the conditions and the standards uh, for environmental design review. Um, the project uh, improves the properties around it. It was an old, low slung ranch house, pretty decrepit. And this project uh, is three stories, and it fits the streetscape, as you can see on the plans, and we've discussed before. Um, <coughs> the, uh, um, we, by the way, since we last met, we've actually had a lot of interaction with the neighbors uh, regarding these changes, um, and they are not controversial. Uh, the building department is, um, has no objection, uh, and I believe may have sent an email to that effect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Um, so, um, I, I could also um, comment that Pam Hallett from the Housing Corporation of Arlington, who is the immediate about our also called and said that she had no objections with them. She liked it the way it was, well, the new, you know, the new plan. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Um, is it a new plan? Well, not a new plan, but just the okay. it's a revised plan. Revised plan. But how is it revised? There's no tree. It's revised on the exterior. From the last time we well, let me no 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 no. 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 We were here two months ago. And what was the difference between now and two months ago? Nothing. 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 So why are we back? Aren't you bringing something as a result of our comments the last time? No, the reason we dis we had comments last time, they yeah. wanted approval. And we decided after discussion that it made sense procedurally and legally to reopen the special mm -hmm. permit right. rather than just give approval, tacit approval or, or verbal approval. So the special permit needed to be reopened and amended. But the comments that we made last time are not addressed at this point. Well, perhaps they will be addressed. At this oh, point. I see. I, I see. mean, I, so this is clean slate again. Oh, well, that, that, that's you know, I'm not an expert at the process. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought okay. we made enough comments that we you'd come back with some of the reaction to those comments, but uh, it sounds like that's not happening. That is what we'd asked for. Yeah. You're right. Well, well let's let them yeah. get through it. And okay. Yeah. We Sorry. About that. We 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 may very well be addressing all of your comments. Okay. When okay. she said new, I was trying to see. It's not really new. It's yeah. the same old. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same project. Uh, we have changes to the exterior. Um, perhaps this allegory and the, looking, and the discussion of the detail with Joe will you know, address perhaps some or all of your, your comments. Um, 
I can't be sure because I didn't really take great notes. Um, trying to have a good memory, it was a couple of months ago. Get it? Okay. So, um, you, you, as you know, we originally applied for the applied for the, uh, the special permit for the project, which had a modern look. Okay, the modern look was the Nietzsche house siding with transom gelled with windows. Um, when we freshened up our quote with Nishiha uh, last December, uh, and I've met with these folks now like three times, you know, um, the quote was considerably higher. In fact, the cost to do the Nishiha signing is prohibitive. And it was really a decision we, we took all the way back around Christmas time that we needed to make a change to this, to this uh, exterior. Um, <coughs> the, in taking that decision, uh, we try to consider, okay, what, what, what are we going to use that's different? The Nishiha product is really a one-of-a-kind product, in my humble opinion. Okay, I'm not really an expert, but we've looked at other flat panel siding, and you know what, it just doesn't compare. This is a really, really strong product. Um, unfortunately, it's made in Japan, it's shipped to Macon, Georgia. Uh, the illumination panel is uh, custom painted, it's a 12-week lead time. So in addition to the cost, it became very difficult from a practical perspective to work with. If my builder puts a hammer through, you know, a couple of panels, you know, you, you have to wait. There's just no choice. So we took a look at, uh, at what might make sense. We still wanted to use fiber cement. Uh, we, you know, examined all of the houses in the neighborhood. We tried to look at what would be uh, in character with the neighborhood. Um, you know, the, uh, the houses adjacent are stucco, lap siding across the street, there are three shingled houses, uh, and, and in the next array of houses, uh, you know, a number of the same lap sided houses. So we chose to go with the lap siding, which we took to be a little bit more of a traditional look, and consistent with that, we chose to use double, uh, double hung windows. Um, in addition to that, Joe has uh, got some technical details. We've added some classic banding, um, a couple of other small things. Uh, there's a page that's part of our key discussion pages that has some of that stuff. This may in fact include some of the things, Andrew, you were referring to. Uh, and um, we think that the, uh, the look is really terrific and very much in the character of the neighborhood. The project itself hasn't really changed, it's really the exterior. In addition to the window and the siding, we were asking um, uh, you to consider approving um, a small roof deck and the removal of the door of the right hand side. Um, I will freely concede that in discussing these with all the neighbors, it was a little bit like having a discussion in a vacuum. They look at one, they look at the other. Frankly, they want to talk about other things. It's just not controversial. You know, they think it looks good and it's going to be really nice. Um, colors and trees were the other two topics, but. Should we pause for a second in case you have questions on some of these details? I think the big concerns we had when we came before us two months ago were the addition of the roof deck, uh, the change in the colors, and I'll let Andy go on that because I'm going to go on. Yeah. We'll let you discuss that in a minute. And the comparison between what exists, what, what you're proposing, and the initial plan, um, and I apologize, I don't have my prior plans with me from what it was supposed to look like. Is there any, I think one of the things that I'm concerned about is the impact of this roof deck. Um, who's going to have access to that? Is that for utility shielding? Is that for exclusive use to any one of the units? Uh, well, at the moment, it would be available to everyone, but we would consider having it be exclusive use for the third floor unit. Mm -hmm. The three units are floor through units, or flats, so that um, it could very well just be for use for the third floor unit. Okay. That's, to me, it's a marketing decision that's months down the road, and we haven't really thought much more about it. Okay. Um, one of the other things that just came to mind was there was some discussion about adding utility services 
compressors outside oh, yes. the building? That was one of the, uh, um, the questions. The, the, that was one that was kind of a major concern. Yeah, you know, we went, um, I'm sorry, this this was one of the points. Um, the uh, the three condensers are going to be on the roof. Okay. Uh, we've, um, you know, taken bids from several contractors and had the discussions okay. about confirm that. And what is going to, where are they going to be placed and how are they going to be shielded? Uh, they're going to be placed uh, adjacent to uh, the staircase or the targets at the top, over here, uh, right as they are on the original plan. Okay. That was one of the things that I was concerned about. Um, the other topic that came up, the Alzheimer's is strong, um, that I think that you were interested in was I had s said that one of the things I might like to do is consider having a pad for a generator mm -hmm. uh, and bringing gas to it. Uh, indicating that you know I wouldn't be putting it in. This would be something someone would come back for. Yeah. Um, we're probably just not going to do that. Okay. That's uh, another decision that we've made since we okay. saw you last. Okay. I think that's the time. Um, I may have more questions, but Ken. Uh, well, I'm going to sort of reiterate what I said last time. Um, I realized the fact that you're transitioning from very contemporary building using Nichiha and casement windows to a more traditional building with the double hung and um, siding. But you didn't take it. It looks like a kind of, kind of hybrid right now to me, okay? And I have certain issues with just the way it's detailed out. I was hoping you can uh, you were going to address it, but I, I, want, I want to bring up a couple issues right now. Right now you have like more or less three equal segments which I'm representing every floor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I, 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 I took strong issue last time about how these windows break that band. I know that was, these windows here are right at the landing, the intermediate landing. That's why it breaks mm -hmm. that band. Um, I just don't, they didn't do it back then. They don't because it seems like a mistake. It looks like something was just put in there afterwards like, okay, we put, a, we put a stereo and we just blow a window in, it doesn't matter what's outside. So to me that looks that kind of like a not not a, not, not thought through um, with the more traditional area. Uh, I don't want to make, well maybe I, pardon if I make some suggestions. These are purely suggestions, okay? And uh, between this, um, the second and third floor, that band there, I would not continue it all around. I just get rid of it. Maybe stopping it right at uh, at, at this um, recess here in the balcony here, and just get rid of all that all along the back and all the way around until you get back to the front again, which you get up to here, and, and then you have something right here. And so this whole thing sort of stops around. So now it has a base, a middle, and then a little top. It looks it, it looks to me scale wise. It brings the scale of going down a little bit more. With or without the banding. Without the banding. Takes the scale. I think so. Over. Yes. Okay. And I would somehow try to figure out where to place this window so it doesn't interrupt this band. It looks. It just. It just bothers me that it looks like it's stuck in there. It looks like a rehab. It doesn't look like a new building. Interesting, because I, I know you raised this the last time, but I don't think I had the benefit of the detailed thought that you've been providing here. We did discuss this mm -hmm. and said, well, there really isn't another place to put a window other than in the landing. Uh, but maybe we were wrong about that. Just get rid of it. Oh, no window yeah. is the suggestion. No, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, you don't necessarily need a window. In, it's not by required by code or anything else. You don't need a window in the, wind, in the stairwell. It's a nice thing to have. Yes, and, it is. And uh, it's, I mean, I just disagree. Okay. That's all. I mean, that's that's what this is about. Yes. I mean, I disagree. That's why I didn't, I, I'd like to have the, the, the back part of the, the band stop at the window and the band itself, whatever the components of that band are, return onto that back part. And that clean, I mean, that stops it. I mean, it's not, we're not trying to be a, a 19th century house here, but we are trying to use traditional elements in order to sort of Correct. bring back. Just... And, 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 uh, and, and it also, I mean, I think if you get rid of the band, the band is what sort of brings some scale to it. And if you take the band out, then I think it looks bigger than rather than smaller. I, I mean, I, and these are all, I mean, these are just opinions. Well, if I look at your old mm -hmm. drawing presenter, okay? Mm -hmm. 
you had a base, then you had a middle, mm -hmm. you know, you didn't add anything here to make it scale it down. You, you had it. I've got it colored differently. That that uh, that's, no, but, that's where the differences come from. So and that uh, no, I'm just. This is just a suggestion. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not here to say you know, one way or the other. I'm just these, you know these are my feelings that I'm trying to say. I like to bring the scale going down a little more. Um, the way you went in detail, I don't think it's. It seems like it's an afterthought as far as the. Um, the, well, the way the way it looks, it doesn't look a brand new building to me. Okay. If I were if I were going up that stair and I had a, a, that window on the stair landing, it would be I mean vastly improved if you didn't have it. I mean if you didn't have it, it would be a lot less of an experience going up the stair. Um, I think that's it's a nice amenity and and that's why I kept it. That's why I didn't modify it really. And I would maybe see if you put a window above the, the uh, uh, like a half window. window. Yeah. Um, I, I never yeah, said right. get rid of the window. I, it was just something that came out saying, "Look, this 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 thing here just, you know." I mean, I like the fact you have a big, strong band on the mm -hmm. bottom here, and this could be a different color. And I think you talked about that. That was. Well, I think we planned different that, colors the whole all three. That, that was that was nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just that if this one, if this moved up higher, and then this one goes, this band goes away, maybe stops here, and you know, I'm not exactly sure how this docking band here. Turns the corner, it, or does not turn the corner. It, yeah, I mean that needs to be. Kind of okay, it, it, it looks uh, like it, it stops here and then doesn't turn the corner. So it looks like it's. I wasn't sure, you know. And yeah, then, it's it's supposed to be integrated with it. I mean that's that's part of it. it integrated with the, the the banding, and it's you know when you do it when you do your section, it's a little tough to make sure that it's kind of going to work out. But yeah, but I was trying to turn the corner. I mean this thing here comes out and it does it. It doesn't quite line up. It, it, I don't know. I'm just saying. The it, intent is that it lines up and continues around the corner. Okay. That's, that's the intent. Okay. And then I don't know what this was either, this little thing here. That's a light. On which side? It doesn't seem like it's landing on either side of the elevation. It looks like it's right 45 at the corner. It's on the back. This is the. This is the back. Yep, there it is. This light here? Yes. So that one's way back there. Yes. And then this band here is this band up here then? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Right side elevation to the back. Yes. I'm just, I'm just, these are things. These I'm are just, your opinion. Yeah, okay. these, are, these are your opinions. Okay. Could, you could you just draw right on the other half one that you're talking about just so I can see it? Uh, well, here's the stairs here, right? So you probably want to put it up here somewhere, but just above this landing here, okay? Let's say this is the window right here, yeah. and this goes across. This way, if you're standing here at the landing, your face, your, your head still can see off the window. So I'm wondering if, and I agree with you about the windows as they exist, if that would look off-putting with the way the smaller window is on the other side, with that double window. Well, this one here, you mean? No, the smaller window. This? Yeah. You've got an offset half window there, and then that smaller window there. What kind of effect will that have visually on the actual appearance of the building? And, and just holding that thought, another half window here. Half here, half here. Yeah. Is that your yeah, idea? Talking about, yeah. Can, yeah. Well, well, no, actually, no, no, he's not. No. He wants to, I would he leave, would the, like I'd the, leave that window right there. Which window? This one. I, this, this one's fine. Because I'm talking about eliminating the span. Oh, so it, doesn't go, so it doesn't go through the band. That's just, you know. You can carry okay. the band through the window if you want. You have two, one window above and one below. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not here to this. Yeah. I'm not trying to give, I'm just giving you my opinion of what this has come up to, okay? And I'm not trying to. It's okay, I appreciate it. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I get it. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Uh, as far as the balcony in the back here, I'm okay with the balcony the back there. I don't care. I'm okay with it being public because it's in the back of the building. It's not up front on the street. So it, it's it's more of a, a reconstituted um, private space up there, which I think is fine. Uh, I'm just bringing that up as I think that's a nice touch. You're adding it. I have no problem with it. I think it's a nice touch. Um, if it was out front, that's different. But you got it in the back, that's fine. Okay? Um, when I looked at this, yeah, I was trying to look to see if this, this corner turned, and this is actually up. 
it's very hard for me to tell there's a shot, shallow line, but now that I've looked at it, and the plan shows it, but now it looks like there's a chunk here. So, it's, so the scale of this goes down like this, and then it spans up, and then this thing pops out a little bit more, right? Mm. See, the word. Recess. No, but the, this doesn't. This that, yeah, yeah, pops right, out a little more, right? Yes. Well, I'm just trying to get a little more dynamics interest to follow the building. And, and, and in fact, you, you do try to attempt to scale it down. I like that. Mm -hmm. I just think you just want to bring a little more excitement to the entry. Yeah, so if maybe this, you just pop off just a little bit. The upper one. This one here. No, it's, oh, this it's just that it's a little canopy over the entryway. Yeah. That goes around both the, yeah, the, the like corner of the yeah. That's nice. Yeah, just pop it off just a little bit. I, I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, no, no, I, I want to, no. I think you can the whole entryway. Uh, see, this is the side right here. Yeah. I, I like, you know, maybe, because you got some sort of steps. Don't you bit. got steps coming up here? We have a couple steps, yeah. I like this to be covering the steps. Okay? So, so well, that, no, that can't happen because there's a landing in front of that. So, and the steps are beyond the landing, so we have a five foot turnaround in front of that piece there. You see, he's just bringing the lip over the top. This thing here, I'm nothing talking about anything about steps or anything else. Oh, you touching. said you wanted to cover the steps. I'm just bringing no, just above with the eave. This brings, this brings out a little yeah, more. Yeah, okay. All right, if you well. want to sell a little more, it gives it a little more excitement. You know, just a little, I'm just looking for a little more excitement I'm, yeah, I'm, and dynamics. Yeah, I'm worried about his setback. Uh, I thought trim and, um, and canopy stuff is excluded from uh, setback. Yeah, to a certain point. Correct. Um, yeah. But it might be possible. I mean, is it like I'm, not, I'm not opposed to that. Maybe? I mean, that's not something, something that I... Something you just get out of the way. I mean, you get a special permit here anyways, right? I mean, yeah. it's not like it's going to... You're not pulling a straight permit here, okay? So, I, I'm not trying to... No, no I, 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 I like I'm, the suggestions. You know? I kept it, uh, I kept <laughs> it <laughs> similar to what we had up here, yeah. actually. The, whatever the overhang is here, mm -hmm. that's two feet. It's the same detail. Okay. Just brought I just, just looking at it sideways, it looked like if I can... Mm -hmm. Because then now you have something coming, you have something coming out, something yeah. going back. It, it's tapered. It has a little dynamic speed mm -hmm. elevation. It brings a little excitement. Okay. And, and it, it, the comment last time was something that could just strengthen the front entrance a little bit. Yes. Well, that that is a change from before, and and this, from from two months ago. And this is what he put in there okay. to try to do that. Okay. And I applaud that. I like yeah. that. Okay. It just, I just want to, you know, I mean, when I looked at the building before, okay, with the Nietzsche hut, it looked kind of yeah. sexy, and I, and it looked nice. You know, and I understand economics and the fact, you know, it doesn't make sense. And that's okay. But I don't want to just settle for something that's, you know. No, 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 it's and quite all right. I, I prefer to have it, you know, and it, it take some minor steps and just make it a little more. Uh, Look, we like it too. You know, and, and believe it or not, that Nichiha, that's on like 30 or 35 percent of the, of the residential homes in Japan, which is a huge number. Yeah. But here in the United States, they still have to make this model totally. It's almost all commercial, and the residential that they do is really, you know, a lot of residences. You know, the 17 White Street, 126 Charles, those are, you know, eight-unit buildings, maybe well, even nine. I think the business plan for the Nietzsche Hub in I'm sort of a little bit, but yeah. Nietzsche Hub in the uh, U.S. market is meant to go um, on a commercial commercial side. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's meant to go against uh, the Aluka, Aluka bonds and the uh, and aluminum panels. Stuff like that, where yeah. uh, Nietzsche has what 18 bucks a square foot. Well, I I in fact, to get it installed now, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at 22. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cause because um, the, we had an original quote, good for 15 days. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 that changed. <laughs> uh, well, the last time I looked at it, it was around 18 bucks a square foot. Yeah, it's changed. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I know yeah. the stuff here. Um, Hardy siding is what 12. You know, it's, you know, I, I, you got me. I, I, I don't know. I just know it's a lot less, okay? Um, quite, I mean. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're not here to talk about that. I'm just, those are, those are the two sort of issues I have right now, okay? Um, Andy, do you have any? Yeah, I mean, I think there's some interesting comments. I'm, I like, you know, you, you kind of touched on the materiality. I actually don't mind the horizontals. I kind of think. In a way, it's it's strong. It's um, comes right off of 251 Mass Ave across the street here. Right. You know, it really, just it's but right there. When I was th I thought about it a lot. I kind of went through this. And there was something unusual about the the materiality you had before, and I know you're in the budget and so forth. Is there something you can do? Maybe it's in the Hardy Plank. 
it's going to be Allura. But it's the same thing. Okay. Allura category. Yeah. Like, not real wood, but natural wood look. And get, get the idea that you have already of the layers. Maybe one layer is painted and then the other layers are wood. Real wood. Like, uh, not real wood, but fake wood looking stuff. Natural thing? Yeah, yeah, like, oh. just looking around, you know, here's a project going out somewhere in, in the area. Oh. I just have to look it in Google. Here's another one. This is un not, not natural wood. I don't think that's hardy wood. It might not be, but it might be a related thing. This is, uh, that same company, but I think has it. If you could get something that pushed it a little bit, because you're not doing a traditional building, you're doing a kind of a, a hybrid, as we said. Something that will make it a little more interesting and appealing to, you know. This is, this is way out there, Andrew. That, that, that material? Well, I mean, I'm just reacting, okay? Yeah. You know, we're all friends here, okay? I mean, yes. This is this is this is way up. There. He's talking about the material, not the detailing, right? You mean like these windows? No, no, no. Okay, maybe I should clarify. I'm just talking about the materiality, not talking about design, windows, anything in there at all. Just imagine that this material here is a natural-looking plank. It's a fake material, but it's got something different than just paint. I know that these these companies make artificial looking wood product that's used a lot. And it's interesting and it's a little different than what you're getting here. I put this over the edge a little bit to make it <coughs> like a, a newer look to what you're doing. Well, why is that so funny? Well, it's just well, scary. Um, you know, I, um, Maybe I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to give you my honest reaction. I will look at it, and you're right. Maybe I'll okay? find I a product for I you. I can't remember which brochure or what. No, you're right. I, I, I've been through all these brochures, and there's, there are some products like you're talking yeah. about. I have no idea what they cost. Even Hardy but makes it, makes chances it. are, if Hardy's making them, it's not going to be terribly dissimilar from this. Yeah, so, but it's, no, it will be, because it won't be a painted wall. No, 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 I mean the cost. Okay, it's, it's the cost that has driven the decision. No, I get it. And pushed me to try to go try, safe. Try. Look at your budget. And look at work. There are a lot more options these days uh, in plant, in fairly inexpensive plant. I, I think you should look at that. And I, I'm going to suggest that that gets reviewed and brought back to the, to the uh, planning board. Um, I don't see anything wrong with the rest of the rest of the. Uh, Special permit, person. Well, if, you've if been I, through the. You've if been I through the. Promise, I'll look at it. Will you consider my plan tonight and approve it, and you know consider approving it? Because I, I only have what I have here tonight. Okay. Which is. Yeah, stuff. I would. I, if you promise, if you if we put as a condition that that you review several options for the planking and the coloration, and that. It's either material and, and or you present what your color idea is, so we can see it in a, in a way other than like that. And then you, sit, you start with the color idea that you're, that you're proposing. And you say, okay, we could use Hardy product X that is wood-like. Maybe you already have something, okay? No, 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 no back I'm, just, I'm just doing a little show, and, setting up the show yeah. and tell. All right, okay, just so that... Try something that has a little more of a natural look, and it would really change the way this this building looks. You might even just use it on one floor. Will I need to go back to the neighbors again? Maybe. <coughs> I don't know. That's, that's my opinion about this building. I mean, you did sell us on something that's a little bit different. And it, I'd like, within the context of what you proposed, if you could look at other materials that would be... No, I promise I'll look at it. I mean, it and, and, and on that basis, I would be willing I would say okay and have a review. A review. By the director. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you and if you see one, send it. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm going right out now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Town> meeting. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll pick up my check from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I think what we do here is add special condition five uh, applicant to review natural options for approval by the director. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, no, that's so. still in there. It's just that. Well, we already changed. have. Yeah. Well, no. The, the plan has yeah. changed, oh. essentially. Oh, yeah, it's already yes, in there. It's already in there. That, so that isn't an EDR. Okay. Yeah, it's in there. Actually, it's already in there. Special condition yes. four. Yeah. 
So, given that that's the case. Yeah. On uh, this particular. Well, I go a little more further. Just, I like that, and I'm willing to support that too. Okay. Also, just, if you also look at this, some of the detail. Uh, right now, you have all the exposures the same. Right now. Can you maybe change it up a little bit? Maybe the base have a tighter exposure of four inch, and then the above maybe have eight inch or something like that. Just to play around. We with. could do that. I, mean, I, I, I think I'd like to see that too, and that's something that, that you could look yeah. at and work with Jenny on without having to come back in front of us uh -huh. necessarily. Something I'm saying that's not good, or you, you don't approve, or what? No, 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 no. I, I, it just, just scares me. Okay. That's all, because you know, I, I, and I'm going to look at this stuff right away. I think these are minor changes. I don't think these are the no, things. That's, that's, yeah. I, I don't I, think these I are. I get it, but I'm I'm not really I'm not really on board calling this a hybrid because. I think that, uh, you know, you sort of, it's like any house I would design or any, uh, any uh, you know, addition that I do, is that everybody wants a traditional look, so you use the traditional elements, but they want, I mean, the changes have to do with, we want to live a modern lifestyle, and that, that's both interior and outside. I mean, they want everything to be, you know, you want it to look like a, a bunch of little rooms on the outside, but it's all opened up inside, and outside is, is you know the, the 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 cornices and the corner boards and and the and the sort of traditional casings around the windows. I mean that's sort of you take these pieces and you put them together, and that's where the the four inch sort of increment of the siding came from. And so th I I think that every element that's on there is a more traditional kind of basis of you know of 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 trim trim and and and, and field. Um, and siding. Now, doing something like that, I mean, trying to make it, you know, acknowledging that it's that it's a hybrid. I'm not sure I'd go along with that, but also, I mean, changing up the the, the siding increment is, is, you know, that's something that's pretty easy to do, and, and it, it will look. I, I've resisted it to be honest, because I see other people doing that, and it, it's kind of. That's what you do if you want to have something that's a little bit more, you know, modern, but to still use the traditional elements. Um, I could certainly do it. I'm happy to do it and take a look at it for, for you guys to look at. And and you pay them. Right? <laughs> that's that's well, that's, that's, that's fine with me. That's what they mean. Anyway, very similar. I mean, yeah. Look at this thing. Say, I think we think it is a hybrid. We, think yeah. we want to take it. We want to take up the next step. And make it a little more exciting. Uh huh. And. No, I think we should say take a little look at this. And when I ask you to take a lot of expensive changes, when I ask you to yeah. make change the windows, when I ask you to go back to a different siding, which ask you to work with what you have presented here, just detail it a little bit differently, but it gives it a little more pop. That's all we're asking for. And I'm willing to Yeah. I'm willing to both say, you know, that you keep on going. I don't want to slow you down. You know, I know you. We had a snow day that that threw you off, and that's you know, it's it's an act of nature. You know, we were nothing to do about. But you know, I'm not I'm I'm not but here. We couldn't advertise because I couldn't go to April because we, we didn't have the time to advertise. Yes. Yeah. So re, re advertise. So I feel for you. Okay. I I understand I understand the issues, and I'm not here that. Yeah. Uh, and so you know, we'd like you to keep going. I mean, I actually when I got this package, I went by uh, just like. Over the weekend, and I know you got the foundation, and you got it all framed up. I mean, well, you're just going about eighty percent of the first floor, but yeah. you know the, the, that's as far as I can go without having this okay. reconsidered because <clears throat> I just can't really do anymore. You know, well, I think we've I think we've kind of hashed things out. I do want to open up to public comment if anybody has anything to say in support. Questions for the proponents uh, before we move to a vote? Is it a public hearing? So is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak? I, I guess. Uh, my name is Donald Garrity, and um, I born and raised here in Arlington. I think it's a great project, and I uh, support it wholeheartedly. He's a shill. <laughs> Are you, do you want to give us your address? Pardon me? Your address? Oh, I'm not a resident. Oh, you're not a resident. No. Okay. Do you, want, do you want to talk about the tree? I know you got to go. But yeah, well, <clears throat> I do want to talk about the tree and the landscaping in front. That was one of the concerns that I have. Um, so I, I think what we have is a nice streetscape for our entryway, and I do want to see what that looks like. Well, I think we can still do it. This was actually a suggestion of uh, a board member. And I have a little, a little package, a sort of interim package. The, page, the second page 
they've got to revise, look at uh, the, the, the tree that, that uh, I like that. Mark found was a, what's it called, Cleveland Peak? Pear. Cleveland Pear. Pear. <laughs> Cleveland Pear. That's along the walkway, and the, the other tree is a cherry tree. You know, the cherry's in the back. Yeah. In the back. Now that cherry tree was supposed to be a three-inch tree. Is it not? It's not. It's a two-inch tree, two-inch caliber. The original permit is a three-inch caliber tree. Oh, I happen to do three, but I mean, it's probably the, uh, the the bad eyesight, you know, the three and the two. Hmm. But we're, we're working with an arborist, okay? We have we have a restriction in the front, okay? It's it's three feet by twenty-one, mm -hmm. and the major uh, issue yeah, with the other trees that were suggested, which was the Ketsura and Sinai border, they spread way too far, you know, the, and the, the, the Ketsura will chew up the sidewalk. Okay, so it'll do it fast, and the sidewalks on both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is good. So, um, you know, we were trying to find something that could function as a street tree, limb up, okay, and allow for passage in both directions, and also, you know, be kind of interesting season to season. Yeah. So, um, we we came up with this one here. We we like it a lot. It's, I'll just pass these around. You know, that's flowering. Okay. This is when it's small and green. Okay. This is in the winter, it would look like that. And uh, in the fall, it, 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 it turns, okay, really, really nicely. And then this, this last picture I just want to share with you because you see these, they, these trees do serve well in constricted areas like this. And so this is an example of the willingness to, to plant this tree. Yes. Right? I have that. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like Paris. Let's go. Right? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I think we need a site visit here. <laughs> yeah. But we, we, we actually examined about 20 different trees to try to find something that can fit the small space. Yeah, three seasons. What, what it's, pretty, it's, a, it's a Cleveland pear. Key Cleveland pear. Yeah. It's not a fruiting tree, right? No. Okay. Um, one of the trees that was recommended actually does that, and it gets, and, and it gets, it gets sticky, and, and you know they're not, you know. It's not a good urban tree. No, <laughs> no. But this way, people will be able to, you know, walk by, and it's not going to, it's not going to, you know, three years from now have the root structure. No, I think you're totally right about the root structure, not pushing up the side. Not pushing up the side. Yeah. is very important. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Nope. I think it's So. Well, yeah, I think um, following the letter that was provided to you, which is from dated March 3rd, which outlines each one of the uh, modifications, I think you should include those in your vote. And then any direction that you want to give to my office as to, you know, condition for follow-up. Yes, to, to modify the original plans. So uh, I'd like to put the condition in that, we, that they bring color elevations to review with the planning that's, department. That's in there is special condition four of the original. Is it? Okay, plan. good. And that um, you consider a natural looking material as well as paint in your investigation to show us, mm -hmm. to show the planning department. Mm -hmm. and the, they then they then they are authorized by us to make the, the decision. I I'll make myself available to join. Mm -hmm. I also had the window too. The window. Both of the Take a look at. I'm not saying no windows. These are, these are the windows in the stairwell. Yes. Yeah. I consider the windows in the stair. The detailing of the windows in the stairwell. And the impact. Banding or no banding. You know, yes, yeah, I'm going to write this down. I'm going to get this. I'm trying to write up for it. We'll have minutes. I know, but we got a motion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, should I trip, take a shot? Oh. You, you, yeah, I want, yeah, I'm kind of writing one down, but go ahead. Move to approve the special permit for. 248 Mass Ave with the conditions. Conditions as stated in the original special permit. Conditions as stated in the original special permit. Um, yes, yes. Actually, back up. Move to, uh, move to modify a special permit granted whatever day. Number 3476 regarding 248 Mass Ave per plans dated 
granted February 23rd, 2015. Yep. As amended. As amended for plans submitted, uh, dated March 30th, 2016, and April 4th, 2016. So if we have a couple versions here. Yeah, the most recent being, this is April 4th, yes. In hand, is April 4th. Somebody writing this now? Yes, apparently. <coughs> Are you? I am. Laura is, yes. The condition that it describes mm -hmm. the bringing in the materials, which is that? Uh, number four. Yeah. General it's it's in there. Four. Color the palette is the annual building material and color mm -hmm. shall be submitted for approval by the director for consistency with plans and method. And condition four, uh, in addition to, additional to condition four, that would be considered not natural material, but would like material be considered in your palette to be reviewed with the planning department. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> so, so we can continue. Uh, yeah, you can move on. You can continue. Um, staff will get on writing that up. And then there's the appeal period. But work with Jenny to talk about any suggestions here as far as building materials. Yeah. Thank you very much. Can I keep these pictures? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're going to do. Is that 10? No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry to delay you so long. It's a treasure. These are going to be bundled, right? Ten year old. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure your bylaws allow for a plan to get you. Condo fees. Good luck with this one. It's going to be good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank you. Good. All right. Not to rush you out of here. But moving on. Uh, Susan Stamps is here from the Tree Committee regarding more about the Susan, Thank you very much. introduce yourself for people okay. watching at home. Yeah, no question. I'm Susan Stamps from the uh, Tree Committee. And I was hoping we might get your vote of support for Article 22, the Tree Preservation Bylaw. Um, the selectmen have unanimously um, approved it. The uh, last week I got the unanimous support of the Conservation Commission and the Open Space Committee. Um, and the Arlington Land Trust has endorsed it and a couple of other candidates. Essentially, the, the bylaw um, regulates removal of trees, mature trees on private property during major development. Major development being um, demolition, um, building a new house or building, and um, putting an addition on which adds 50% or more to the footprint of the structure. So it doesn't affect a homeowner's right to go out and cut a tree down in their backyard. It has nothing to do with that. It's just, just major development. Um, the trees, which are called protected trees in the bylaw, um, that are covered by this bylaw, are defined as um, healthy trees, which are 10 inches or more DBH, diameter of breast height. Um, so call it diameter, 10 inches in diameter, which is a pretty good sized tree. Um, I, personally, I wanted to make them smaller, and some towns do have smaller ones, but that's uh, stop editorializing. Anyway, 10 inch DBH, healthy tree, um, not at, at imminent risk of disease or insect infestation. Um, located in the setback. This is the other key thing, is that this is just during major development and we're only talking about mature trees in the setback. So question. Yeah, this, go is, ahead. this is only in the residential it's commercial as well. Also commercial yes. too. Okay. Now boards such as the redevelopment board and the conservation commission, which have jurisdiction, which may have jurisdiction over a project which this tree would apply to, has the ability to waive um, the requirements of this tree bylaw. So we don't we don't have to have a clash of you you guys go first. So for example with the Conservation Commission they said, well what do we do where if half of it is under our jurisdiction because it's in the, the wetland 
and the other half isn't, what would they do? And the answer is that they would first go to the Conservation Commission, get all their conditions, and then as to the rest of the property, it would be under this bylaw. I think when this comes to residential development, this is an excellent proposal. I'm looking at the pictures that you provided. And <clears throat> I, think, I think a lot of the discussion around uh, some of the residential changes we've seen in town, some of the building that we've seen in town, this solves. Uh, it, it doesn't, it's, not a, it's not a total fix, but it's not a band-aid fix either. I think it, it is well thought out, and the way that keeping some of this streetscape and landscaping in place really uh, keeps our streets looking like kind of neighborhoods people are used to and helps to offset uh, the size of some of the development that's done. Um, when you keep the green in there, you keep the landscaping, you keep these trees that, that are decades old, um, and you have that leafy, welcoming neighborhood feel. Uh, and, and I think it's great. And I'm also glad that we have control over it as far as commercial projects because as you will need to take trees out and, and move them to different spots. You might want to put them out on the sidewalk as opposed to actually on the property. Um, so I think yeah, I would support this fully. Um, well, um, I do unfortunately have to disabuse you of some of the wonderfulness that you think this bylaw represents. <laughs> I wish I could say that this bylaw means that the, the mature trees and the setback will remain there, but that's not what it means. All it means is we don't feel that we can tell developers to do that. Sometimes they need to take trees down for whatever reason. Right. The roots are too close to the foundation or they need to get the equipment in or something like that. So what it says is that to the extent that they are going to remove any trees in the setback, they have to mitigate that removal by either replacing a tree, mm -hmm. um, replacing a removed tree with a tree, um, with at least two and a half inches caliber somewhere on the property, or they have to pay $500 into the, the Trees Please Fund. Okay. Um, and then the, that's for each tree. And then the town is tasked under this bylaw to use that money to replace the tree, preferably in the vicinity right. of where it was removed. So let me, let me ask you this, yes. so that so, we can kind of sync up our, yeah. your, my understanding of what you're proposing here. I'm looking at your, your pictures from Hillsdale Road yeah, I know. in 2012 and 2015. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would that have required builders to put trees in on this retaining wall on top of it? it would would have have been, I understand that it's it would have, the developer. It would have required builders to mitigate the removal of those trees by either replacing those trees somewhere on the property yep. or by paying $500 per tree into the tree fund. Okay. It would not have prevented them from taking the trees out. Right, but I, I guess what I'm asking is yeah. mitigating that, replacing those trees, yeah. would have meant some sort of treescape along this. It, replacing the trees anywhere in the property. Yeah. The idea is we felt that the best we could do was to look at the, the tree canopy as a whole for the mm -hmm. town, and that at least this will, to a great extent, reduce the loss the net loss of tree canopy in town for okay. development. Unfortunately, yeah, I understand. I'm just coming at it from a, from a, a different perspective. We but. did all those pictures. People were sending us all those pictures early in the process, and we were like, "Oh, this is great. We can prevent the clear cutting." Well, and we came to realize we really can't. Right. That's the that's the unfortunate truth of it. But what not, you, but you yeah. can you can. But we can. I guess you can't force, but you can encourage the replacement yes. of a lot of these trees Absolutely. that are cut down. Yeah. And, and, that, and that, that, well. that requirement, I think, will will kind of get to what I was hoping the bylaws <laughs> well, in the I, long term. I also think Yeah, again, the, looking at Appleton Street, and again, if, you, yes. if they had to replace trees there, that would be a much more inviting... I um, know. Well, I, I think something that's really important about this bylaw and maybe the most important thing about the bylaw is that for the first time that I know of um, 
in Arlington, it brings the preservation of trees on, pro on private property into the discussion when everybody is talking about a development, a major development. And even though the bylaw doesn't prevent the clear cutting, it, it's on the developer's radar screens now. And now they're thinking, oh, I can't just come in and take all those trees out without having to answer for it. Yeah. Well, what do, I what do I really need to do? Because I'd really rather not have to pay all this money into the tree, tree, so trees fund. Is it $500 per tree? Yes. What's the enforcement? So the tree warden is going to go out. They're, they're going to submit a, a, their site plan um, with the trees drawn on it by the surveyor. Um, they're going to show it to the tree warden. The tree warden is going to go out and look at the property and make sure that it's representative of what's on the property. And then um, it's going to check on the property now and then and do a final check and then there are fines if okay. they don't do what they're supposed to do. Okay. Um, I am mindful that yep. both Andy and Ken may have some comments. I know we have yep. one other person that would like to speak to us tonight and we are getting up against town meeting. So okay. I apologize for being so long-winded on that. Ken? No, I'm, I'm encouraged by this. I just, <clears throat> it's only trees on the, on the setbacks. Yes. Uh, on the residential. Commercial as well. No, no, I'm, I'm saying it's the same yes. commercial or residential for now, okay? Yes. And if they, if they choose to take the tree down, they have to replace it with a two and a half inch caliber. So let's say they have four trees there, they're all 10 inch caliber trees. They have to replace it with four trees that are two and a half inches. I'm afraid so, yes. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. I'm no, not trying to weigh you right or wrong, okay? Yes. Or pay $2,000 to, to, uh, as, as a fee, and they don't do any tree planting at all. Yes. Okay. Right. That's right. And, and you know, and the sad fact is, or, or well, I'm not, okay, not going to say it's a sad fact, but the fact is that I think a lot of developers will, they'll just clear cut and pay. Um, but at least they'll pay, and so that they, that the tree canopy can be replaced by the town. Okay. The only thing I have is generally when uh, people submit per, uh, for permits yeah. for an addition or a renovation, they don't include a landscaping plan. All they do include is a site plan, which just shows the uh, property line and then the house. They don't show trees. They don't show uh, that. So it isn't. I don't know how that could be enforced. That's the uh, well, they will now. Oh, so that's so part of this is, yeah. is a requirement that yeah, for any major thing that you have to submit a landscape plan. You, well, okay, so this this is not this is sort of going parallel with the with the uh, building permit process or the de demolition permit process. But we're saying that I mean we we had a very complicated, fancy um, bylaw that was our first draft and. Um, uh, then we had to go redo the whole thing because it was too complicated. The builders hated it. The selectmen hated it. Um, we came up with something a lot simpler. Um, and one of the things we had before was that a certified arborist had to do a plan of the, the property and then do a letter explaining what was going to happen with each tree and the setback. What we ended up with was um, <coughs> submit the site plan that they have to do for the building permit, have the surveyor, when they're doing surveying the property, also put the trees of 10 inch DBH or more on the Only ten, in, in, 10 inch or, or more, more in the setback. Now this is going to be signed by a licensed surveyor, so we don't expect that they're going to, you know, like no. not put trees okay. on yeah. if they're there. Okay. And so it's that very same document that they submit to the uh, building department with their building permit application that's going to go to the tree board to take a look at. Okay, so this amendment adds that extra requirement in the building, pro building permit process. It's not part of the building permit process. It goes alongside. But there is something that says there will be no site work on the property until you get the sign off from the tree board. Which has a survey. Okay, yeah. And okay. so they can. Okay. Get I, I was looking at how this might work. De facto, it, it yeah. requires them. Right. Okay. I support this. It's great. All right. I guess we should move to support Article 22. As well. <coughs> I move to support Article 22, tree preservation. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, thank, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, other business. Uh, Elizabeth Pyle has asked to come and discuss her proposed substitute amendment for amending Article 10. Just on this side. To the back. <laughs> to the back. Hi. 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 Hi.
Yeah. Uh, name and address, please. Elizabeth Pyle, 66 Gloucester Street in Arlington. And I wanted to talk with you all this evening. Thanks so much for having me come here. Um, I've been working on some of the uh, residential zoning changes, and I'd like very much to continue working with you going forward. Um, I understand that I, you recommended no action on Articles 8, 9, and 10. And I was concerned about Article 10 because of the public safety issue involved. And I was at the precinct meetings where I heard Mr. Bonnell and others talk about that the reason for the 15% uh, slope maximum was the public safety issue and how the um, cars backing out of the driveway couldn't see the pedestrians and you know, the mom with two small children and this really speaks to me. And so I am bringing it up again as a substitute motion, um, which will be heard on Wednesday. Uh, and I was hoping that you guys wouldn't speak against it, since it was your article initially, and it seems different than the other residential zoning matters because of the public safety issue involved. And if it was a public safety issue two weeks ago, it's still a public safety issue today. And I would just feel so awful if a house was built that had a greater than 15% slope on the driveway and in the next year and somewhere down the line I thought kid was hurt or killed and I felt like we should it, that if I'm going to get up and make a substitute motion on it I just don't want you guys to get up and, and say please everybody vote against this because you have such weight that I think that that will carry the day and we have a real chance here to revive this and uh, address a public safety concern. I don't have any comment on this. I think I would, uh, I just would say anything, yes. Uh, Andy? That's fine with me. Okay. Great. All right. Great. Thanks so much. I put it on the chairs. Um, is there, a, uh, Laura, I heard you say at a precinct meeting that there was an engineering report about the 15% slope and why that grade was chosen. Um, it's not a written report. I do not have it. It was a, it was a, it was a comment. Discussion. It was a discussion. Okay. Great. Thanks very much. And I just have a question about it, too, because this was your article. It's 15% up or down, Correct. is that right? Right. Okay. You're right about 15%. Uh, that's above and beyond what commercial allows. I think they go 10 to 12%. Okay, great. All right. So Ramps, you know, like garages and things. Mm -hmm. It is allowed by special permit, and right. that was a low addition because of the up more than the down. Because right. sometimes you have a house that's up high yeah. off yeah. the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. so let's, I'm less concerned about safety. Yeah. How do they get up those driveways? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Really. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Elizabeth. Right. See you some more in the future. Thank you. Love to. All right. Other new business. We got a letter from the Board of Trustees of the Gloucester Public Library Association. Yeah. 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 Y
um, in a set time frame. So they came to meet with me to just understand what is the process um, and roughly when they should come in to present uh, for a special permit, which would involve a lot, um, including a uh, driveway curb cut, um, a completely different and restructured lot, also a subdivision of the lot um, in all likelihood where they would um, take 6,000 square feet and sell it. Um, so a lot of uh, potential conditions, um, and then of course the design of the structure. So I walked them through the process, I suggested that they put together a letter of introduction just to kind of let you know about this, okay. and definitely let you know about the importance of the the process and why it's important are they, for that Are they in the program. process of purchasing the land? They are in the process they of purchasing the land. They are in the process of purchasing the land. And? The property. Okay, the property. Yeah. Okay. So. What did you tell them, six to eight months? <laughs> <laughs> I told them that in all likelihood we, would, we could potentially start the review on June 6th, depending upon when they let us know that they're ready for a special permit hearing because we need time for advertising, uh -huh. and that that would just be the beginning of the special permit process, which could likely take a number of months, depending upon the, you know, what they present to the board and you know, any conditions that need to be worked out during that process, as well as the summer months and your meeting schedule. So, um, so I let them know that you know, there's, it depends. I, I, I did not commit yeah. to a specific time frame that you would say yes or no. That's not No, but I think things are already running through my mind about what we might be able to, mm -hmm. to do with this, knowing that it's now going to be active, hopefully yes. active. Yep. So, good. So, this was really just an introduction to it and... Sounds um, like a good use. You know, to let yeah. you know about it. Okay. okay. Any so other... will be back in the future. Any other business? There are minutes, but I think we're going to have to postpone those till the next meeting. Okay. Before we go, I want to thank the board, the Master Plan Implementation Committee, Jenny and Laura, and everyone who's been involved in the process for the mixed use with uh, warrant articles and all their work that went into that, which were passed overwhelmingly at town meeting last Monday night. I think that's excellent work, and everybody who was involved deserves <coughs> our gratitude and thanks, and our applause, whatever. Yeah, so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, that's excellent. Very good. All right. With that, we'll, uh, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn and reconvene at town meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.